Hey everyone, Sir Ashley here, your Charlotte area realtor and investor. And today is September 2nd, 2020. And just last night, we got an update on the eviction protections here in the United States. Now I gave an update over the weekend, but something just came out last night. So let's jump into it. Before we jump into it, hit that like button as it brings more attention to this channel and just brings more awareness to what I'm trying to share to people, keeping them updated to news related to real estate and just all things real estate. I know many people hate watching the news, so I try to break it down into a couple minute segments so you know exactly what's pertinent for you. All right, let's jump into the topic. Yesterday evening, the CDC, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, just issued an order that temporarily halts all evictions through the end of the year. Now, the one this past weekend um, protected only certain renters, but this order here protects all renters if you meet certain criteria. Now, you can qualify for this eviction protection if, as a single person, your income is less than 99,000, and if you're a joint filing as a couple, your income has to be under 198,000. The order says they're going to use your past tax returns to establish your income. Also, renters, if you're seeking for this eviction protection, there's one more step you have to do. You have to make a self-declaration stating that you've been financially harmed due to COVID and cannot make your full rent payments. But in that declaration, you also have to state that you're going to make your best efforts to make your rent payments or partial payments. So basically, this eviction protection is just kicking the wave of evictions down the road. Because this eviction protection applies to all properties, its projected impact could be on up to 40 million American renters. But renters, please know, you're still liable for all of these rent payments. It's just that the landlord cannot evict you for non-payment if you as the renter sign the self-declaration and you meet the financial guidelines. Landlords, I know this is tough for you and I'm sure a lot of you did not like this news from last night. Um, according to a report back in July by Reuters, there was almost $22 billion in past old rent. And that does not take into account the rents for August and the rents that are about to be due in September. So I know landlords are taking a big hit right now. Um, my advice to you is one, if you have a loan on the property, take mortgage forbearance. It will help you with these additional expenses and protect you from foreclosure while you're not receiving any payments for your rental income. But if you're a landlord and don't have a loan on your property, I can't stress this enough. It is important that you ensure that you do whatever you can to negotiate with your tenants to at least get some kind of partial payments. Thank you so much for watching this second update on eviction protections. If you've liked it, please consider subscribing and also hit that like button and follow button. Thank you so much for all of you that have already. Have a good day and talk soon.